That's someone passed out on the ground right there. Are they both your children? Yes. Yeah. Um, Hello. Are you looking for someone? Yeah, you. Me? Yeah. Yeah, are you the mother of these children here? Yeah, what's up? They just, they've been screaming and crying. Yeah, they're playing. They have the, the windows open. That's what they do. They're not playing, ma'am. Right. Well, he looks like he needs some juice or something. He's showing me his cup. Yeah, I was just about to go get them. Okay, well, we're getting complaints that they feel like there's uh, children in distress over there. Yeah, they, and they, they, um, they're very loud and they scream a lot. Yeah, it's That's called a kid. Yeah. They scream a lot and they're very, um... How old are they? Uh, it's almost two and three. They're is, very, very is anybody young. supervising them? Yeah, I was just in there. Like, I was just in there getting them stuff. Mm-hmm. But I have my other daughter in the So other there's house. like 10,000 choking hazards in there that they're locked in that room and nobody's in there supervising them? As they're screaming for the whole neighborhood to call us? That bright in our eyes. And this apparently has not been the first time? from all your neighbors calling in, saying that they hear this multiple times throughout the week. Do you have an ID with you? When was the last time you even changed their diapers? As it's sagging there, probably full. They had a ton of juice, and it was probably an hour and a half ago that I changed their diapers. Does this seem to be a safe environment for your children? Yeah, it is completely safe. It's just, they're very, very loud and vocal, and since both of the windows are opened... This is a safe environment, huh? We're still cleaning it out. Their uncle and aunt just left, and they trashed the place. So... I'm not enthused so far, to be honest with you. Neither am I. You notice the cockroaches on the walls? Yeah. Um, yeah. And you can see the... So you the screen, the screen, the screen in was in there. Yeah, the screen was in, but you see how they had the holes and stuff, and they're putting their right fingers right. through. And I mean, I feel like you could easily push that out if you actually tried. Okay. Um, it, it took her several minutes to it seemed, well, a, a good amount of time to answer the door. Um, when she answered the door, she was like groggy and tired. Was the baby with her when she answered the door? No. Yeah. So she was. The a infant baby. was asleep in the bed. Um, she seemed tired, groggy, kind of out of it, like she just awoken. Okay. And they were banging on the door that was locked from the out, so other side. That out. With an empty juice cup. Mommy, mommy, mommy. With it's an empty cream. Juice cup. Juice cup. Mm -hmm. juice. Oh, juice cup. Oh, I was like, what's a juice cup? Okay. And screaming, mommy, mommy, juice, juice. And just loud screeching. Do you want to explain it? Sure. Um, so, based on our findings tonight, Okay, um, we do have probable cause to make the arrest on both of you, okay? Um, it, it's, it's just not fair to what's happening with these kids. Alright, so all, both of y'all are going to be going to jail tonight um, for child neglect. Okay, DCF has obviously custody of the kids and they're going to be staying with your sister, cousin, mm -hmm. is that what it is? Um, hopefully you guys are able to get out tomorrow, you can get back to your baby. Yeah, um, with what? We have no money. We have no, I, I have no family. I understand. I understand, but we we have probable cause to make the arrest. Yeah, okay. We don't we don't tolerate this. All right, that the conditions they're in is unsafe for them, in general, completely it's unsatisfactory. You're gonna probably want your wallet, and your ID when you go. Yeah, you know, um, all right, go ahead. Put your hands back, please. Put your palms just like you're praying. Pumps yep. together. Pumps together, like a frame. I know you're upset about your kids, but you hitting your head against that glass is not going to do anything. <laughs> you have three little ones that care about you, that are waiting for you. Yep. So let's just get this over with.
okay? We're going to go get you cleared at the hospital. If you don't want to get any treatment or anything, you'll just have to tell them that. I don't want to go okay. to the hospital. Okay. But we'll we have... there, you just tell them you don't want to see them, and they'll just have to fill out a piece of paper, and we leave. But according to our policy, because you just had I'll a... I'll fill it out now. I don't, don't want to go there at all. I hate Advent. They right. treat me like shit. Okay. Perfectly fine. It's not your decision. It's ours. Okay. Our policy states you're going to have to go. If you sign out AMA, that's not a problem. You don't even have to get out of the car. That's not a problem. Okay. At the end of the day, this is what is happening. I'm very sorry to be the one to tell you that, but there's no decision here. There's no choice to be made. This is what's happening. Please do not hit your head against my partition. All it's going to do is hurt and damage my car. Okay. I don't care if it hurts. Is you have any questions, comments, or concerns at this point in time? No. Great. Close the door. Let's go. Hi, I'm